Hey, there's nothing better on an icy night than a roaring fire. But right now, thanks hmm. to, of course, the bad air quality, it's illegal in most of the Treasure Valley. That's right. And just as important, it is a huge waste of money. Tonight, we're on your side to save you some cash by keeping that damper closed. The roaring fire. Sit up close and you can feel the heat. But in sub-freezing temperatures... A, a standard open fireplace, uh, virtually all of the heat goes up the flue. It's also drawing heated air, that is, air that a person has already heated with their furnace. It's drawing that air out of the home as well. Fireplaces create a vacuum in your home that brings cold air in through the cracks. So the colder it is outside, the harder your furnace must work just to compensate for all that incoming cold air. Because the fire is there in the fireplace, you don't get that sense of a cold draft, but air is moving out through that flue and out the chimney. Also, the DEQ says burning wood for residential heating is against the law right now in the valley. We are currently in the orange, which is the unhealthy for sensitive groups. We've been there for approximately uh, four days in a row now. This will be our fifth, if everything holds up. So you got a soup right now. Uh, it's kind of gross. <laughs> Car emissions may be the biggest pollutant during our extended inversion, but wood particulate is gaining ground. Definitely more burning within those wood stoves, obviously now because it's cold. Uh, probably a top three. I mean, if you're going to break it down, it'd probably be within the top three of contributors right now. Uh, still at the mercy of the inversion. Still at the mercy of the inversion. Yes. Now, if you have no other source of heat, of course, you can get an exemption. Otherwise, your cheapest and warmest option really is to forget the fireplace and rely on your furnace. I hadn't really thought about all that. Although, I have a gas fireplace, yeah. so what about those? Well,